Discord to become a social media kind of platform, but it evolved to that, to where people were socializing way beyond just small groups of gamers. So it isn't meant to overwhelm you that there's so many of these out there. Um, and basically it's so that you don't see your marketing audience as a limited pond, but as a big ocean. So there are also bigger social channels that might evolve, especially on their perceptions of only fans, gives you new opportunities and a reason to revisit them. So if you've hit a dead end with your marketing, start exploring what's hot now and find an opportunity that maybe no one has, else has tapped into, or also relook at old social media platforms you might have given up on and see if they are in the same place that they used to be. You know, certainly with Instagram, there was a, a year long total ban on OnlyFans hashtags, which is, from what I can tell, lifted now. If you search hashtag OnlyFans, you will get new posts now that come up, whereas before it just deaded. So you just never know. Number seven, watching your videos without knowing you have an OnlyFans. Okay, so these people, if you are on TikTok, uh, YouTube, or just posting clever videos online, likely someone is consuming that content each day. Uh, chances are they don't know you have an OnlyFans page because of a lot of the restrictions on video type sites. Make sure that when you make videos, you embed a URL line for links pages that you have. You know, try to be as clever and discreet as you can about this. You know, so for instance, on TikTok, they might be you know, negative on a link tree, but doesn't mean they might be negative about an Instagram. So you might want to throw your Instagram onto there and just some words that say, you know, for more exciting pictures, go to, you know, it's like you just want to figure out some way in your videos to let people know what's up that you have an OnlyFans, but doing it in such a way that it doesn't break the rules of that video channel. And I'll certainly leave it up to you, but if people are consuming those videos, some of those people are going to want to check out your OnlyFans if only they knew you had one. And number eight, uh, they're, you know, crushing on you in secret. This one's an interesting one, but, um, you know, these are the hardest types of fans to secure because they will do everything they can to not reveal themselves to you. Um, they're going to be lurkers. They're going to read, they're going to watch. They're never going to post though, you know, so how can you draw these people out, uh, that are basically secret super fans? Um, I re recommend making an offer uh, they can't refuse. Something along the lines of, I've created exclusive content for my crushes and I'm only sending it via DM to all those who like this post. So basically you want to create, and I hate to use the term a thirst trap, but you an OnlyFans trap, <laughs> we'll go with that, um, to try to draw these people out. You know, um, the people who are already subscribed to you, make it some sort of offer that everyone who else who's already subscribed to you is already paid for or already has. And so you know that basically whatever you're offering uh, is going to just hit those secret super fans. And then you can draw them out. Okay, number nine. They are subscribing to a cheaper page. So, you know, everyone is generally cheap or broke or both. You know, rich people are usually rich because they are frugal, which is the rich way of saying cheap, uh, or they don't overspend. You know, people of moderate means have to watch every penny, and broke people are typically broke uh, because likely they overspend. So when someone says, don't with mess with this person, they are quote unquote broke, they usually are because they spent all their money. <laughs> so where did that money go? And I mean, they had money, and that means that they already spent it somewhere else. So if they might right now be subscribing to a cheaper page uh, than, than yours, you know, so uh, ideally you want to offer free trials to these people because they are going to end up subscribing to someone and it might as well be you. Now, if you give out the free trial and you notice that they just, they don't take any interest, well, it, there could be a number of reasons for that. But you want to try to get these sort of people who are subscribing to the cheaper pages. And then number 10, they are subscribing to more expensive page. 
definitely went over in a previous episode about why you should be charging more for your OnlyFans subscription. Uh, and it's because people feel better about spending more on something. They feel that doing that adds more value. So you could have a potential subscriber who feels your OnlyFans page is actually too inexpensive. <laughs> and thus, they must not be a high enough quality for them to subscribe to. So if you've established yourself as someone who's producing quality content, it may be time to look at the price of your OnlyFans page and determine if it is high enough. People might be assuming that they aren't going to be getting the same quality from a competitor when you, in fact, have a much better page for potential subscribers. So basically just means that they are making the assumption because you're only charging $5 that they're going to get more from the person who's charging 15 when you could be producing a heck of a lot more. So it's kind of the reverse of the, of the people of the cheaper page that you want to go ahead and just make sure that if your, if your content is good, you are charging enough for it. Okay. So in conclusion, you know, what are the keys to gaining more subscribers? You know, they're making yourself more well-known on social media and marketing channels, capitalizing on your brand recognition to then provide quality content and engagement on both your OnlyFans and your social media. So basically, bringing it all together. So you can tell from all from that list that things are working in synergy together. Your social media channels work to make people feel better about what could possibly be on your OnlyFans. If it's free, they can see some of that. If it's behind a paywall, that's really the only real indication that they're getting. So again, as I mentioned about that creator who just tried to resell her Instagram pages, the assumption was is that there was going to be something good behind that paywall because she had so many people following her and because she was constantly producing content. There really was no other indicator for why they should subscribe other than that, than the implications that were being given from the social media that she had. And then you want to make sure just if you're going to produce on your OnlyFans that you produce good content, that you produce quality images, that you utilize what's going on in your OnlyFans to advertise on your marketing channels, that basically everything is coming together. When everything comes together, that is going to be the key to gaining OnlyFans subscribers. Okay, great. (laughs) All right, so off to the listener question of the week a listener in boulder colorado asks what is only finder and why are subscribers finding me through it okay so there's this site and i'm not necessarily saying you should go there it's called onlyfinder.com and it's basically an only fans scraper site uh that allows actual keyword searches through it so this is different than one of the leaks kind of sites where basically people are setting up the websites and then you know scraping the actual content off of an OnlyFans creator's page. All they're taking is everything that's in front of the paywall. So it's the same as a search engine would be scraping like Google. What Google sees is the same as what only a finder sees. And there's a couple of these who have popped up. So it's not a danger necessarily, although I did mention in the last episode about um, keeping yourself safe on the particular platform as far as, you know, location, you know, not having that because now people can do these crazy searches for uh, locations. So the weird thing about the site is it just doesn't have that much in the way of legitimate see or sources like it doesn't have any location or any social media it just seems like it just came out of nowhere and the reason people are finding it is because google likes it uh it ranks very well for only fans accounts which gets you know ten thousand plus searches every single month on google so because of that people are finding it they aren't finding the competitors so this one although like i said it seems to be the least put together of all of them Because Google likes it, it's being found. So basically, that's what OnlyFinder is. It allows people to make searches for specific keywords, 
uh, groups, ages, anything they want to, they can put in there and they get results back. So I will say that we will be talking in the next episode of the podcast about optimizing your OnlyFans page for search engines and sites like OnlyFinder as well as OnlyFans search suggestion system that recommends similar creators. This all comes together about search algorithms. So I'm actually going to be talking, it was a good question because I'm going to be talking about this uh, on the next episode, basically how to optimize yourself so that you will come up better in all of these search systems, which is just another great way to gain followers and subscribers. So I'm looking forward to talking about that episode next time. And again, this episode was how to get more OnlyFans subscribers. Uh, My name is Richard Lewis. I am the founder of OnlyFans Hero, and I own the OnlyFans promotion and marketing company called SEO Bounty, and you can find that at seobounty.com. And this whole entire episode uh, is also a blog article that you could find at seobounty.com slash blog, and is called How to Get OnlyFans Subscribers, 25 Ways to Gain Subs Now. So you can find that at seobounty.com slash blog. And you can find this podcast on Instagram as well at only fans secrets podcast and you can also find us on reddit at r slash only fans secrets and we of course are on only fans itself at onlyfans.com slash only fans hero uh, please subscribe and follow us for free on there. I am very much uh, thinking in the next month that I'm going to do a live stream on OnlyFans uh, for creators where I can answer questions about promotion, about marketing, about optimization, about a whole bunch of different things. So I'm going to be taking a poll pretty soon on at OnlyFans Hero uh, on Twitter, just asking what a good day and time would be uh, for everyone as far as being able to um, join me for that kind of live session. I'm just excited about that. I've been waiting to do that until the right time, and I feel like it's almost the right time. So I'm thinking either end of June or beginning of July for that. And we are also on TikTok at OF Secrets Podcast. And of course, we're on Twitter at <laughs> OnlyFans Hero. And we're also on Twitter at OnlyFans Podcast. If you want to look that up, both of those are now very successful promotions uh, for creators. And as I mentioned all the time, OnlyFans Hero, it's now every 10 minutes we're running promos. So <laughs> definitely hop on OnlyFans Hero and check that out. And as always, if you have any questions about the podcast uh, or you want uh, you want your questions included in an episode or any questions you have about OnlyFans as well, please reach out to me at OnlyFans Hero, or you can now also just go to seobounty.com and reach out directly to me uh, through the contact information on that site, or reach out directly Richard at seobounty.com with any questions that you have. And as always, if you have an opportunity to leave a review for this podcast. I really appreciate it. You can leave it now on Apple as well as on Amazon slash Audible, uh, which also takes uh, reviews for podcasts. And I really just appreciate that. And as always, if you leave a written review, please reach out to me either on the podcast Twitter uh, or through email uh, or on at OnlyFans Hero and just let me know and I will be happy to shout out you and your OnlyFans page on our large promotion network. All right, and as always, I just really appreciate you guys listening to this podcast. Our last episode on promotion was the most successful episode we've ever had, the most downloaded, most listened to. So I just really appreciate you guys always and your support and your continuing to listen. So please subscribe to this podcast, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.